Coco Golf versus Carolina Mukova is the first semi-final for the Ladies US Open for 2023. And both players destroyed in their previous matches. Mukova entered the tournament as the number 10 seed and will take on Hunter in the first round. This was no problem getting through in straights. 6-4, six, 6-love. Six, in the second round, she take on Fre. And again, this was no problem for Mukova getting through in straights. 6-3, six, 6-3. Three, six, three. In the third round, she take on Townsend, who had just taken out a Daj Meyer. And after a close first set, Mukova would win in straights. 7-6, six, 6-3. Six, in the fourth round, she take on Wong, who had been a bit of a surprise to get to this stage. Stage. And after splitting the first two sets, Mukova would run away with the match, getting through in three, six, three, five, seven, six, one, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Mukova would take on the 30th seed Kastea, who she'd already played three times this year. But after an easy first set, she'd get through in straights, six love, six, three, to advance to her first US Open semi final. Goff entered the tournament as the number six seed, and would take on the qualifier Sigamund in the first round. And after dropping the first set, she would fight through the win, three, six, six, two, six, four. In the second round, she'd take on Andreva, and this was a very impressive match by Goff, winning in straight 6 3 6 2. The third round, she'd take on the 32 seed Mertens, who would save match points in her two previous matches. And after dropping the first set, Goff would fight back to win 3 6 6 3 6 Love. In the fourth round, she'd take on Wozniacki, who's coming back for the first time in a Grand Slam in three years. And after splitting the first two sets, Goff would fight back to win 6 3 3 6 6 1 to advance to another US Open quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Goff would take on the 20th seed Ostapenko, who had just taken out Fiontech in the previous rounds. But there's no problem for Goff getting through in straights. 6 love 6 2 to advance to her first semi final at the US Open. These two have only played once before, but it was actually a couple weeks ago in the final of Cincinnati where Goff got the straight sets win. But Mukova looked nervous in that match, and maybe being in the semi final might give her a little bit more of a chance in this one against Goff. If Mukova is going to win this one, she needs to bring that variety and come to the net. She was doing that against Kaseya a little bit, but it wasn't as good as maybe and clean as maybe she needs to be against someone like Goff. Of course, the crowd's going to be against her or not on her side. So she also needs to make sure she can block that out if she's going to get the win. If Goff's going to win this one, she needs to serve big and play aggressive. She played okay against Ostapenko, but Ostapenko played terrible. She can't expect Mukova to play terrible, so she needs to lift and serve well, hit that forehand, and use that crowd. We saw this match a couple of weeks ago. It wasn't as epic as maybe it could have been, but I feel like this one's going to be a lot closer, but I have to go with Goff to make the final. It just feels like a fairy tale for her at the moment, and I just feel like Mukova might come under the pressure a little bit in maybe a final set. I'll go with three for Goff, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.